everyone. I have been meaning to do this video for ages because it's something I'm asked about quite regularly. I'm asked about my kit quite a lot and uh, kind of the things that I use in it and I will be doing a video on that um, sometime in the future. Um, but what I wanted to do was talk about one specific thing that I do have in my kit. Um, and I always take them with me and I think it would be something that's interesting to you because I know that having looked around and I've looked at other videos and you know I've kind of gone on cosmetic um, websites and things like that and I've, I've seen that to kind of do this um, is there's kind of a big misconception that it's really expensive um, and it does not have to be it doesn't have to be expensive um, and I'm talking about creating a custom lip palette um, with lipsticks um, you know all that jazz in them but you know with being able to take them out of your kit um, without having lots of little tubes in your kit that get in the way that can be very heavy and you know that they're not the best they're not always the best way to um, store lipsticks in your kit or you know I mean, it doesn't have to be if you know you don't have to be a makeup artist to have a custom lip palette maybe if you go away a lot or you just like to have lipsticks that you, know, you can kind of see what they are without having to take the lids off them and, and you know decide what you want in the morning then this would probably be a really good option for you as well but it is not expensive now if you look around at places like love makeup and things like that you will see that the most popular palettes are um, japanese palettes um they are little plastic palettes with cards in between um I don't know how many wells there are, but anyway, you've probably seen them, they're like a, kind of like this size, they're book sized, and they have little wells in them, and all you do is you just put your lipsticks in there. Um, but Japanese palettes are incredibly expensive, and you know, I don't really think people should, you know, have to shell out that sort of money for something that you could easily make for a hell of a lot cheaper. Um, so, I thought I would come on here and just show you really, really, it's just really simple, and it's really quick, and it's really cheap. So, I'm going to show you or tell you rather, how to turn this, which is a child's paint set. This is a 32 watercolor palette, um, go crazy with color paint set from Smiths, WH Smiths. Um, you could be able, you'd be able to find something like this anywhere. WH Smiths is an English brand, but if you just go and have a look for child's paint palettes, you'll probably be able to find something like this if you are not from the UK. So, I've been doing this for a while, and it works really well. So this is what you get. This is what you get when you go in. Make sure it looks like this. It's got a little hanger on it. It's just this one, and it is just the 32 color water watercolor palette. That's all it is. Nothing, nothing fancy. This is 2.99. The watercolor palette. Okay. So what we do is take this off, and the, the paints obviously come inside it. Take the paints out. They're on a little plastic tray take those out and then you should have something once you finish that looks like this now this is this is all it costs it costs 2 dollars for the actual palette this is a really sturdy palette I haven't managed to put the names of the lipsticks on the back yet because this is a new one of mine um, it's a really sturdy palette it has a see-through lid so open the palette up it has a really sturdy lid that you can mix on and it has 18 color wells and these wells um, I don't know if it, it will show up on camera these wells are quite Deep. They are quite deep, so you can get a lot of lipstick in there. You can get a huge amount of lipstick in there. And that's all it is. It costs $2.99. Now, how I do my lip palettes, um, let me just close this. How I make my lip palettes, you know, pretty much everybody knows how to cut up a lipstick. It's, it's you know, child's play, isn't it? What I do, though, is I get the lipsticks that I want. Um, it does require cutting cut the ends off of which you know, you will have to get used to if you're a bit of a makeup nut like myself. It can be kind of daunting to um, to cut up a lipstick for the first time. But, you know, you'll survive, don't worry. And uh, what you do is you take a lipstick, you take a sharp knife. Be careful, though, guys. Um, and uh, what I usually do is I get, like, a boiler kettle. And I pour a little bit into a bowl, a little bit of water into the bowl. And put the, knife, the blade of the knife in the hot water for a little couple of seconds and then that makes it a lot easier to chop the end off the lipstick um, and then all you do is you get like a little like a palette you know a palette stirrer or something anything to squish the lipstick down into these little squares and you're done that's it you just spread it out and you're done you can keep going I did this in one evening this this new one of mine um, it doesn't take very long but it's very rewarding once you've kind of got all your lipstick colors in there I've, I've kind of I've got a couple of nudes this one is um, Barium's Marshmallow um, I have a gloss that was a, a, a um, 
I'm just talking about solid gloss, so that's nice. Um, I have some reds down the bottom here, I have some really dark burgundies. Um, I have some purples, I have some mixing colours in the middle so I can kind of mix them with dark colours to make them a lot lighter. Um, I have a predominant kind of rosy hue kind of pink theme going on up here. This one is a really pretty colour, this is Saturnly Yours from Satellite 3. It's kind of a um, gloss finish so they can go really nicely over the other colours. Um, I have a coral. Um, so this is really nice summer palette but it can be used all the time because you have like a huge array of um, different shades of pink and red and burgundy and things like that. So uh, this is my newest one, you can hang them up because these palettes come with a little hanger on them, you can hang them up in your kit or you know anywhere you like really just to kind of for easy storage. They're very durable, they're not you know they're not really going to crack unless you really wallop one of them, um, in which case anything would crack if you do that so be careful. But these are really sturdy, they're hinged, you know they're just they're brilliant and you can put the on the back, you can put the stickers of what they are, um, peel the stickers off when you want to empty the well and put a new colour in and you know off you go um, but that is how I organise my lip palettes, it's how I organise my lipsticks um, I don't carry lipsticks around in my kit with me um, you know I carry a couple of lip glosses but I don't carry lipsticks because they are very heavy and you know I think it's much better when you present to somebody something that looks like this when you're asking them what lip colour they want because they can have a look and they'll actually you know go for the colour that they want rather than the packaging, which I find is a big thing, you know, if you present someone with a MAC lipstick over like a Rimmel lipstick, people will probably go for the MAC one just because, you know, it's more expensive, but that doesn't mean that it's better. Or, you know, for instance, the Satellite 3 lipsticks, you know, I mean, they look like this. You know, I mean, I probably, when presented, would you like this one, or, you know, would you like, uh, let me see, you know, if you just look. You know, would you like a, a, a the L'Oreal one or would you like this one? People are probably going to pick the L'Oreal one because the packaging's nicer, but they can't see what it looks like. So it's just much easier, I think, to give people like a choice of colours. You know, and and then if they ask what it is, you can tell them because you'll have it written on the back. But I just think it it makes it a lot easier for people because sometimes the stickers on the back on the bottoms of the lipsticks do not accurately correspond to the colour of the lipstick that's actually in the tube. So people can just have a little look at this. Brides especially um, love this type of thing because it just makes it so much easier for you to be able to see all the colours you've got, all the shades you've got. Um, I do have a few of these. This is the newest one. Um, yeah, it's just the easiest thing in the world. Once you've done, you scoop it out, you wash it out, you disinfect it, and, and you know, you're away. And these are very easy to disinfect as well. If you use the Beauty So Clean spray, um, they're much easier and much less time consuming than going around and disinfecting like 25 lipsticks in the tube. You know, it's easier to kind of disinfect these as you go or disinfect them as a, as a bulk with that spray. It's just easier. So um, I hope that was helpful for you guys. I'll just show you the. Um, I'll just show you the label again so that you know what it looks like. It is the WH Smith 32 watercolour palette. This is found in the children's section. This is not found in the adult section. I did go and have a look at the adult painting equipment uh, way back when when I was kind of considering doing this and finding a cheaper alternative to share with you for lip palettes. Um, they, you know, they. If you look in the adult watercolour section of Smiths, you know, for instance, um, those palettes are very expensive. They're usually metal, um, or the, you know, they're they're very. Um, reinforced hard plastic or ceramic some of them and they're just you don't need to spend that much money just to get you know an empty palette you really don't you just need to go in Smith's go to the kids department look for something that looks like this um, and it, of course you won't be able to see the wells underneath um, until you get home but as long as it looks like that and it has these in it it will have the little wells, you take this off, it will have the little wells underneath when you take the paints off. Um, you know, you can give you the paints to I don't know, your niece, your nephew, whatever. Um, but yeah, I just, I think these are a really good idea. They're very cheap, as I said, they're 2 99 um, and other than the 2 99 outlay for the actual um, plastic palette itself, it's just time. But it's fun, I really like making lipstick palettes. Um, once you get over the initial shock of cutting up a lipstick, um, I really, really like them, they're just easy. So that is what, I do for lipsticks in my kit 
I just find it easier, you know, for all the reasons that I said, disinfecting wise, um, choice for, for your client, they just find it easier to look at shades and colours and to pick one rather than looking at the packaging and picking the packaging that they like, and maybe the colour doesn't really go, you know, with, with what they're doing. And it's time consuming taking the lids off lipsticks and showing people and they go, oh, I don't like that, and you have to put the lid back on, it's just time consuming. Um, it makes your kit very heavy, you know, if anybody's ever carried a kit around, you know, London on and off trains and stuff, you'll know that kits are very heavy and you don't want to bulk your kit down with anything unnecessary. So this is a, a very quick, affordable way to streamline your lipsticks in your kit or in your, you know, in your makeup collection. This is not just like a makeup artist only trick. Um, you know, if you if you go away a lot, as I said, if you travel a lot, or if you just want something that kind of looks kind of pretty, and you don't want to clutter up your, um, you know, your makeup space. Maybe you don't have a huge amount of space to put your lipsticks out. Then you could just do this, and you know. It's just uh, it's a nice streamlined way of holding your lipstick. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you have any questions about um, the method that I use, then do leave me a comment below. It's very easy. You just, as I said, you get a hot knife, you slice the end of the lipstick, smush it down. That's it. That's all I do. I didn't think I really needed to show you that because, you know, I'm sure you know how to smush up a lipstick. I mean, please, five-year-olds know how to do that. So I didn't think I'd, I'd kind of, you know, pander to you and say, oh, you don't know how to do that, because I'm sure you do. So um, I just thought I'd just share with you um, a little kind of secret that I found in Smith's children department uh, via the watercolour paint section. Underneath the watercolour paints is all this beautiful, like, 18-well lipstick holder. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, as I said, leave me a comment if you've got any questions. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't. You can do that by clicking on the little button up here and make my day. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye, everyone.